Pages, Apple's powerful word processing program, completely redesigned for the Apple iPad. Hi, I'm Rokaz, your digital lifestyle expert, and I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to use it. The materials you'll need are an iPad, your finger, an iPad stylist, and the Pages app. All right, to get started using Pages, all you have to do is download it from the App Store, and you just press the icon. It looks like a little inkwell with a fountain pen. All right, another tip is when you get started, you want to start off with a new document. Always, in my opinion, start off with a template, either one you've created or one of the great ones that they have available. All right, for demonstration purposes here, we're going to use a poster, which is kind of an advanced Word document. Not a Word document, rather, but sort of an advanced um, uh, word processing style document, but not uncommon. All right, so you see here we've got different photos. All you have to do to change the photos for our little thing here is to click it. Have photos stored in their own library is a great tip for being able to quickly move through a word project or a, uh, a, uh, a uh, pages project rather. What a gaffe. Go to our stock photos here, choose that one. Go to my stock photos library over here and choose that symbol over there. Oh, I don't like that. Let's double tap that one over there and let's center it up just a, just a bit. Done there. Oh, let me do it again just for fun. Move it down and yes, it's trying to snap to the grid. Done over there. Nice, nice and centered. I'm loving it. So a little off center too. I'm going to double tap this one. Get its attention there. Make it a little bit bigger so we only see one person there. Done. And then over here, I forgot to change this one out, didn't I? What was I thinking? Let's go with this. This is one of my favorite shots over there. And there you go. Now, to change the text, it's just that easy. Select it up there. Double check it. Now, also, you have the ability to change the centering and the font. I always recommend that when you're doing a title font, a good tip is to make sure that it's nice and centered. And again, we can add more things just by grabbing it. All right? And we get a good view of it. And then we can just simply pull it out. And that, you know, see, we can see a deeper view of it there, and we can actually make it longer. And one of the ways we do that is actually by typing it in over here uh, because it's set to replace those because it's only placeholder text. Also, too, notice the fact that it does have the red underline there, meaning that it is double checking um, for spelling errors. So there it is, a powerful word processing program on the go. I'm Rokaz, your digital lifestyle expert, saying, stream you later.